on, you'll love it. I'm not so sure about this, Dharma. What kind of guys put lipstick on their wives? French guys. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. If this doesn't rock your world, I'll put on one of your dress shirts with no pants and high heels. That seems fair. Attaboy! <laughs> Ooh, red. <laughs> well, I guess, uh, pucker up. No, I don't pucker up. In fact, my mouth has to be open. <laughs> oh. Start with my upper lip. Oh, boy. <laughs> Good so far, huh? Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Now do my bottom. <laughs> Please don't say that. <laughs> oh. Dharma? Huh? I have no blood in my head whatsoever. <laughs> Okay, pot's right, last card down and dirty. What'd I miss? All right. Best car ever made, 57 T-Bird. Best sausage, Sheboygan Brats. Which somehow led to which network anchor woman would do the best lap dance? <laughs> Maria Shriver. See, that's where I would have gone, but apparently fear of Arnold runs pretty high. <laughs> Koki Roberts? Koki Roberts is a bright woman. Oh, you really want a woman that's smarter than you giving you a lap dance? How about Mary Hart? No, oh, no, no, no. She's smarter than Greg, too. I don't think I've ever seen your husband with his friends. I know. You know what it's like? It's like seeing a lion in a zoo and then seeing the lion out on the Serengeti talking about a bunch of stupid stuff with other lions. <laughs> Can I try something? Just keep your hands in the Jeep. Baseball player who'd look best in drag. Ken Griffey Jr. <laughs> he's got a mustache. Now, David Justice could be cute. Plus, he's a lefty. What's that got to do with it? I'm just saying it's harder to find a lefty. <laughs> Who's he? Oh, man, you're gonna love this. He's been in the poker game for two years, and no one knows his name. <laughs> hey, guys. Look who's here. <laughs> Big guy? Hey, dude. Hey, man. <laughs> nice haircut, Captain. What slugs? They're not slugs, Jane. You know what? They're like clams, you know? You just gotta get them to open up. Watch this. Hey, Raj! Favorite stooge? Mo. Yeah, Mo rules! Woo! <laughs> uh, Darwin, do you have anything for a headache? Why? What's the matter? I have a headache. <laughs> Roger, that's just a symptom. I mean, usually there's an emotional problem that goes along with our physical yeah, ailments. Aspirin, ibuprofen, acetaminophen. Loneliness, depression, <laughs> anger. A little bourbon would be just fine. Is everything okay at work? Actually, I'm not working. I uh, got laid off. Yeah. And you haven't told your wife yet, have you? How did you know? You just had your clam shucked, boy! <laughs> So, I'm out of work, I'm out of money, and like an idiot, I buy a Porsche. You're not an idiot, Roger. You know, I mean, you're just, you're just trying to reclaim your masculinity in some way, you know? You're right. Sound familiar, Stuart? <laughs> no. I need the boat because I entertain clients. Uh, you need the boat because? Because... I don't feel good about myself. There you go. <laughs> can, can I say something? Sure, Howard. My entire life is a lie. Oh, so this Howard and this Howard aren't getting along, huh? I've never even met. <laughs> Do you have any knives? No. Say it. I don't want to. Come on, just say it. Go fish. Thank you, I believe I will.
So, uh, apparently these ducks are some sort of protected species and there's not a thing I can do about them. Except complain. <laughs> what did you expect me to do? Well, darling, they are ruining the pool. Can't you make a phone call? Mother, I work for the Justice Department. If your ducks take a minor across state lines, I'll make a phone call. <laughs> Problem solved. Marco! Polo. Edward, please don't encourage her. Wow, they come right back. I don't know, they? I know. I had the maid jump in and out of the pool all day yesterday. Didn't do a thing. And a couple of your ducks bit me. They're not my ducks. Really? They sure act like your ducks. Why don't you just drain the pool? I can't. I'm having a big party next Sunday. Well, then paint the ducks white and tell everyone they're stumpy swans. Edward, please tell your son he is not helping. Edward. Polo. <laughs> Dama, dear, you, you could go change in the cabana right over there. Yeah. All done. <laughs> Montgomery. Oh, hey, Stuart. Dharma? Yeah, she's right here. Hey, Stuart, what's up? Oh, no, that happens to guys all the time. Don't feel bad. <laughs> oh, lots of guys have problems with impotence. <laughs> Who is she talking to? A poker buddy of mine. I mean, sometimes it's stress, sometimes it's diet. Well, why is she talking shh, to... Shh, shh. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. How about I take you over to my Chinese herbalist tomorrow morning and see if we can't put some starch back in that collar? <laughs> yeah, no, don't thank me. That's what friends are for. Okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Do you want to say anything to Stuart? What am I supposed to say? Tell him it comes and goes. So it doesn't bother you that your wife's talking to Stuart about his... Well, you know. You can say impotence. No, you can't. Because if you say it, you think it. If you think it, you got it. If you got it, you might as well be buying black shoes for the beach, my friend. You're done. Hey, the guy's got a problem. My wife's got a solution. I don't see any harm in it. Yeah? What if they become friends? What about it? She wants to be friends with my friends? I think that's great. Are you kidding me? Say you have an affair with Cindy Crawford. I'm not going to have an affair with Cindy Crawford. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> right. But say you did. Who are you gonna tell? You can't tell your friends because now they're your wife. Hey guys. Habeas corpus ex post facto. <laughs> hey, Dharma, hi. hi. Um, let me ask you a question. If I had an affair with Cindy Crawford, could I tell you? I tell you. There you go. Problem solved. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm just having lunch with Howard downstairs, and I thought I'd come by and say hello. Well, Howard. Greg's friend, Howard? Hmm? Uh-huh. <laughs> he called you? Yeah. He was uh, talking to Stuart and because uh, he wanted the number of my acupuncturist, and then we ended up talking for like three hours. So we just figured we'd go get lunch. Anyway, I don't want to keep him, money. i see you. Have a good day. Bye, Pete. Toodaloo. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't bother me. I didn't say anything. I know you didn't. I'm just reiterating that I'm comfortable with my wife bonding with my friends and forming their own friendship separate from mine. Well, then you're a better man than I am. Thank you. I'm still a better man than you. <laughs> I'm so glad to get that off my chest. Oh, well, you know that old saying. If you're going to bottle up your feelings, you better pickle them first. I haven't heard that saying. Actually, I made it up, but I don't think it's catching on very well. <laughs> hey, look who's here! Hey, hi, Howard. Uh, honey, can I talk to you for a sec? Sure. Mm. I want to know five things you love about yourself by the time I get back. Okay. <laughs> uh, Dharma, remember how you always say if you're gonna bottle up your feelings, you better pickle them first? Hey, it is catching on! <laughs> I'm just a little uncomfortable that you're spending so much time with my friends. I'm sorry, Greg, but they are dying for someone to talk to. Did you know that Roger is about to declare bankruptcy? 
I had no idea. Yeah, and Paul has some major self-esteem issues. Paul? Who's Paul? Paul, the guy in your poker game whose name you don't know. Paul? <laughs> Paul! You didn't happen to get a last name, did you? Paul Binion? How can you forget a guy whose name is Paul Binion? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry, what were you saying about me and your friends? It's not a good idea. Why? I don't know. I mean, what, what if Howard had too much to drink and, and hit on you? Oh, believe me, Greg, that's not going to happen. Why not? Because Howard's got a crush on you. <laughs> dollar to Roger. I'll see the dollar and raise four. Ooh. Roger's filing for bankruptcy. <laughs> you sure you want to do that, Roger? Because I'm pretty sure Pete filled out his straight. And thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> Relax, Pete. It's a friendly game. Greg's right, Pete. It's a friendly game. Howard's got a crush on you. <laughs> Let's not get excited, Howard. What are you talking about? No one's getting excited. Lots of men have problems with impotence. <laughs> That's it, I can't play anymore. You, you can have my chips. Paul Binion. Paul Binion. <laughs> What's with him? Who knows? Well, maybe somebody should go talk mm -hmm. to him. I'll go. <laughs> Yeah, well, see, what's happening here is you've got a mating pair. And so once ducks have chosen a nesting area, they become very territorial. Wonderfully informative, Abby. But Dama said that you could get rid of them. You bet she can get rid of them. Abby's got a degree from Berkeley in ornithological psychology. It's a study of bird brains. <laughs> that must come in handy. <laughs> hey, Kitty. Does it bother you that the amount of energy you use to heat this pool could keep a third world family warm for an entire winter? I thought the third world was in a warm climate. <laughs> well, hello to you, too. First, I'm gonna open a line of communication. Uh-huh, and then tell them if they don't leave, I'm throwing a hairdryer in the pool. <laughs> hey, what's this? Can I get you some, say, Mr. Finkelstein? Whoa, Celia. Sorry. No, you don't have to wait on me. I cannot endorse by my actions any system that places one human being in servitude to another. I just made a picture of strawberry margaritas. Well, if they're already made. <laughs> guys are meeting up at Hanrahan's. Do you want to go? I can't. I've already made plans of my own. Oh, shoot. Because Howard's showing a bunch of his charcoal drawings. He's got a couple of beauties of you at the gym. <laughs> the gym. Huh. Neat. Uh, but as I said before, I've already made plans of my own. Okay. Well, have fancy. Uh, don't you... Want to know what they are? Uh, okay, sure. Well, if, if you must know, I'm, I'm getting together with your friend Jane, you know, just Jane and me hanging out, being friends, and, unless that bothers you. No, I think it's awesome. I find... <laughs> Speak to me. Pete, it's Greg. Hey, what's up? Well, your brilliant plan backfired. Now I actually have to hang out with Freaky Jane, or Dharma's gonna find out that <laughs> no, I'm not in. Leave a message, and then get out of the gene pool, you idiot. Why do I get the feeling you're not listening to me? Haven't heard a 
word I said Tell me why do I get the feeling you're not listening to me You haven't heard a single <laughs> Hi, Jane. I was just wondering if... Quick! Inside! Anybody follow you? No. Why? No reason. Just screwing with you. <laughs> what do you want? Well, I was just thinking, uh... You and me could, you know, hang out and get to know each other. Cool! Hey, everybody! This is Greg. He's a cop. I'm not a cop. He wants to hang out with us. His name is Greg and he's a cop and he wants to... Hang with her. I'm not a cop. Typical cop. Denies he's a cop. Deeply troubled man. We're all cops here. Is that so? Don't be scared. <laughs> not scared. Scared cop. All the cop and Satan. Scared cop. Little tasseled mama's boy. Scared cop. Hey, hey, hey. Greg wants to play our game. Oh, it's my game. <laughs> no, no, that's not, okay. I'll, I'll just, uh, you guys play, I'll watch. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to be the watcher? <laughs> no one's ever volunteered to be the watcher. Oh, I meant that I'll, uh, uh, I won't participate. The watcher does not speak! <laughs> okay, no speaking. Okay, let's start. Everybody, think a number and lick the watcher's face. No, 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 no licking the watcher's face. Hi, I'm Dick Clark. <laughs> oh, hi. Listen, you don't want to come in here. It's just a... Don't come in here. Oh, you must be the watcher. Come on, Dick, and lick the watcher, lick the watcher. Oh, dear God, what are they doing now? Well, as I understand it, they're using smoke and noise to drive away the ducks. Okay, Larry, I'm going to spend the night with the ducks. Good luck, honey. Please tell me that's not what I think it is. Hey. If you smell barbecued people, would you stick around? <laughs> Dharma, I don't know quite how to say this, but we're thinking about dropping Greg from the poker game. Why? Well, we were all hoping that the game could evolve into more of a discussion group. But, but every time we, we touch on anything real or meaningful, bam, Greg just, he puts up the walls. I mean, that's just because he doesn't know you like I do. I think you should give him more time. I agree with Dharma. I, I don't think we're being fair to Greg. <laughs> okay, okay, listen. I'm, I'm trying to be okay with this, but this is just totally weird and wrong and weird, and that's all I have to say. Bam, walls. <laughs> what is going on? Dharma, you ruined my poker buddies. How? They're all... Touchy feely. That's good. Honey, you've learned more about them in the last week than you have in all the years you've been playing poker with them. That's how you ruined it. Once a week, I like to sit down with guys I don't really know and talk about things I don't really care about. You like it that way? Yes. Do you know how long it took to find five insensitive guys in California? We had to bring Stuart in from Chicago. I didn't understand. I'm sorry. Well, a little late for that now, and look at him. Well, you look on the bright side, you get to spend more time with your new friend, Jane. <laughs> Hi, honey, you're home. How was your day? Uh, fine. Dharma, who are they? These are your new poker playing buddies, and I promise not to ruin them. Bye. Cool. 
Hey guys, what's up? Hey. Hey. How you doing? What's up? Sit down, play a hand. Uh, let me ask you a question. TV's broken. You only have a choice between two channels, women's golf, women's bowling. What do you do? Take a nap. Deal me <laughs> in. <laughs> what's the game? All right, jacks are better. Larry, I've tried everything, and I can't get rid of these ducks. They've decided to make this backyard their mating area. Huh. What would happen if some other animals started mating here? Most likely they'd see it as competition for resources and leave. Huh. Edward, what are you looking at? The ducks are gone. Oh, good. Oh! <laughs>